This TV Mass is brought to you live by Philippine Long Distance Telephone SME Nation. Success through technology with PLDT SME Nation. Tunay nga na sa bawat misang ating ipinagdiriwang, ating binibigan papurit pa sa salamat ang Panginoon na siyang Panginoon ng kaligtasan. Sa umaga pong ito, we are happy to have with us one of the priests of the Society of St. Paul. Siya po ay naging isang misyonaryo, misyonaryo ng medyo may katagalan sa uh, Venezuela. 13 years po siyang daan doon assigned sa aming community doon sa Venezuela. Uh, siya po ngayon ang rektor ng ating seminaryo sa Silang Cavite, kung saan may mga 50 po tayong mga students of philosophy at iilang mga adult vocations. Please welcome in our midst, Father Tim Meliza, Society of St. Paul. We join our hearts, we begin our celebration in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. We will discover something beautiful today sa ating Ibanghelyong babasahin. It is not only that man longs for meaning and seeks for God, that also our God Six thirsts for us. Sa mga pagkakataong binaliwala natin itong Diyos ng pag-ibig, we ask His forgiveness. Together we say, I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and what I have failed to do. Through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask Blessed Mary, Ever-Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen.
Let us pray. O God, author of every mercy and of all goodness, who in fasting prayer and almsgiving have shown us a remedy for sins, look graciously on this confession of our lowliness, that we who are bowed down by our conscience may always be lifted up by your mercy. Through the Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated for the liturgy of the Word. The Lord's gift of water reminds us of the life-giving water that Jesus speaks of in the Gospel, the first reading. A reading from the book of Exodus. In those days, in their thirst for water, the people grumbled against Moses, saying, Why did you ever make us leave Egypt? Was it just to have us die here of thirst with our children and our livestock? So Moses cried out to the Lord, What shall I do with these people? A little more and they will stone me. The Lord answered Moses, Go over there in front of the people, along with some of the elders of Israel, holding in your hand, as you go, the staff with which you struck the river. I will be standing there in front of you on the rock in Horeb. Strike the rock, and the water will flow from it for the people to drink. This Moses did in the presence of the elders of Israel. The place was called Massa and Meribah because the Israelites quarreled there and tested the Lord, saying, Is it the Lord in our beads or not? The Word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. In the desert, 
where your fathers tempted me. They tested me, though they had seen my works. If today you hear his voice, God pours into our hearts what we thirst for, faith, hope, and the Spirit, the giver of life. Our second reading. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Romans. Brothers and sisters, since we have been justified by faith, we have peace with God through our Lord Jesus Christ, through whom we have gained access by faith to this grace in which we stand, and we boast in hope of the glory of God. And hope does not disappoint, because the love of God has been poured out into our hearts through the Holy Spirit who has been given to us. For Christ, while we were still helpless, died at the appointed time for the ungodly. Indeed, only with difficulty does one die for a just person, though perhaps for a good person, one might even find courage to die. But God proves his love for us in that while we were still sinners, Christ died for us. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Please stand to honor the gospel. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus came to a town of Samaria called Sychar, near the plot of land that Jacob had given to his son Joseph. Jacob's well was there. Jesus started from his journey, sat down there at the well. It was about noon. A woman of Samaria came to draw water. Jesus said to her, Give me a drink. His disciples had gone into the town to buy food. The Samaritan woman said to him, How can you add you ask me a Samaritan woman for a drink? For Jews use nothing in common with Samaritans. Jesus answered and said to her, If you knew the gift of God, and who is saying to you, Give me a drink, you would have asked him, and he would have given you living water. The woman said to him, Sir, you do not even have a bucket, and the cistern is deep. Where then can you, give, can you get this living water? Are you greater than our father Jacob, who gave us this cistern and drank from it himself, with his children and his flocks? Jesus answered and said to her, Everyone who drinks this water will be thirsty again. But whoever drinks the water I shall give will never thirst. The water I shall give will become in him a spring of water welling up to eternal life. The woman said to him, Sir, give me this water so that I may not be thirsty or have to keep coming here to draw water. I can see that you are a prophet. Our ancestors worshipped on this mountain, 
But you people say that the place to worship is in Jerusalem. Jesus said to her, Believe me, woman, the hour is coming when you will worship the Father neither on this mountain nor in Jerusalem. You people worship what you do not understand. We worship what we understand. Because salvation is from the Jews. But the hour is coming and is now here. When true worshippers will worship the Father in spirit and in truth. And indeed the Father seeks such people to worship Him. God is spirit and those who worship Him must worship in spirit and truth. The woman said to Him, I know that the Messiah is coming, the one called the Christ. When He comes, He will tell us everything. Jesus said to her, I am He the one who is speaking with you. Many of the Samaritans of that town began to believe in Jesus. When the Samaritans came to him, they invited Jesus to stay with them, and he stayed there for two days. Many more pagans, many more began to believe in him because of his word, and they said to the woman, We no longer believe because of your word, for we have heard for ourselves, and we know that this is truly the Savior of the world. My brothers and sisters, the Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Sa isang conference na ginawa sa Amerika tungkol sa relationship sa pamilya, one of the questions that was asked by the speaker was this, sa mga babaeng na andun na nag-attend ng seminar. Ito yun. When was the last time you told your husband, I love you? Magandang tanong yan, ano? Pwedeng tanungin nyo rin sa sarili. Ano nga ba? Kailan ko ba sinabi sa aking asawa, I love you and meant it? So sinabi niya, okay, sa mga hindi pa, nang matagal na, eto gawin nyo. Mamayang gabi, i-text nyo asawa nyo o i-email nyo kung malayo sa inyo o tawagan nyo. At ang unang sasabihin nyo sa kanya, Darling, I love you. Kinaumagahan, bumalik ang mga babae for the second day of the seminar at tinanong ng speaker, o sino sa inyo nagsabi sa mga asawa niyo, lalaki, I love you. Taasan lahat ang kamay. Ngayon, gusto ko malaman sa inyo, ano ba ang naging reaksyon ng asawa niyo nang sinabi niyo sa kanya, I love you. Sulat niyo. Nang ipinas ang mga reactions, tawanan sila ng tawanan. Kasi iba-iba ang reaksyon, ngunit mayroong lima na talagang labas ng labas as a result of wives telling their husbands, I love you. Ibibigay ko sa inyo ang lima. Ang number one sa listahan, ang sagot doon sa text eh, Who you? <laughs> Alam na yung number na nagpadala, alam na yung email address, ang tanong pa rin, sino to? Sino to? Ikalawang reaksyon. Walang yaka? Para kanino talaga to? <laughs> Galit. Kanino mo to? Para sa kanino to? Siguro miss call ka, ano? Siguro napadala mo maling number. Para kanino tong I love you na to? Yun, yun ang tanong. Hindi talaga maniwala. Galing sa asawa. Ikatlong sagot. Ano? Siguro nabangga mo na naman ng kotse, Ano? <laughs> ano na naman ang kagaguhan ginawa mo? Ano na naman pagkakamali ang ginawa mo? You know? Kaya ka tumatawag ng ganito. Ikaapat. Hoy, cut the crap. How much money do you want? <laughs> Panglima, matutuwa ka. Lasing ka na naman. Sinabi ko na sa iyong huwag ka nang uminom. You know, <laughs> you know funny, 
But from the reaction of that, it would seem that even if a person says, I love you, sometimes hindi madaling tanggapin. Alam nyo, ayon sa psychology, the greatest thrill of any woman who is married is to feel secure in the love of the husband. Hindi yung pera eh. Hindi yung kataasan ng kaalaman. Hindi yung bahay. It's just the thrill that my husband will be there for me. My husband will support me. My husband is my real security. My husband loves me. Si John Powell ay gumawa ng isang aklat. At ang aklat ay binigyan niya ng title na nakakatuwa. Ito yung title. Would you still love me if you know me? Ganda nun. Mamahalin mo pa rin ba ako sa kabila ng alam mo na kung anong akong tunay? My dear friends, that's a question that every one of us constantly asks. The same question that probably was in the heart of this woman who went to the well. Nakakatuwa siya sapagkat pumunta siya sa kalagitnaan ng araw in the highest, the high noon. Sino naman ang pupunta sa well? Ay, alam naman, maladisyerto din ang Israel. Pupunta ka roon para kumuha ng tubig sa kainitan. No one would do. You go early in the morning, you go towards the afternoon. But this woman preferred noontime. Why? Walang masyadong maraming tao. Bakit? May tinatago siya na alam naman ng lahat. Na siya'y nakalima ng asawa at ang sinasamahang pang-anim ay hindi pa tunay na asawa. Kakahiya yun. At kahit siya mismo alam niya. But for a woman to constantly be married five times and then now joining a sex, there has to be something she must be searching for. Ano yun? Kanina may isang paring sumulat, eh siguro anak, huwag mo namang sabihin yung anim eh, baog lahat. But there must have been something else that does not feel, does not fill her life with the joy and the peace that all of us long for. Towards the end of our story, we will know what. At ano po yun? Kahapon, I was also listening to another priest. Ang sabi niya, of the many Gospels yung apat, the most symbolical is the one of St. John. Huwag niyong basta-basta isnabin o i-take for granted kahit numero. The well has a meaning. The water has a meaning. Number six has a meaning. And Jesus comes in as the seventh man in his life. Seven means completion. Pagkatapos niyang kausapin si Jesus, anong naging resulta? Alam niyo, ang sabi niya ganito, My gosh, this man knows me. Si Kristo nagsabi sa kanya, lima asawa mo, naging asawa mo, sinamahan mo, may pang-anim pa ngayon. Paano niya nalaman? This man knows me. May kapalpakan, may kahinaan, may pagkakasala, may mga pagkakadapa ang ginawa, mga takatarantaduhan, hindi ko dapat ginawa, ngunit aking nagawa. And yet, the next statement, at sa kabila nito, he understood me, he accepted me. Alam niyo ba na si St. Therese of Avila, who is one of the pillars of contemplation, ikalawang doktor na babae ng ating simbahan, ang favorite niya sa lahat ng mga gospel readings ay ito. Bakit? Kasi ang sabi niya, you know what is real contemplation? Ito yun. That you go in encounter God and you get to see yourself through His eyes. And you will see two things. Makikita mo ang iyong kapalpakan before the liwanag. Sabi nga ni St. Francis, the near you get to the sun, the darker becomes your shadow. Pag lumapit ka sa Panginoon, isisigaw mo ang sinigaw ni San Pedro, lumayo po kayo sa akin. Ako'y isang makasalanan. And yet, that does not end there ang next statement. At sa kabila ng alam niya kung sino ako, tinatanggap niya ako, pinapatawad niya ako, minamahal niya ako. 
experiencing such great acceptance, such love beyond measure. Itong babae became the missionary. Siya ang nagsasabi, Ali kayo, kilalaan ninyo siyang aking nakilala. Because tunay na nakilala ko. At sa kabila nito, ako'y pinatawad. A dear friends, the Pope that we have today is in great, great Pope. Si John Allen Jr. na siyang eksperto tungkol sa Vatican, Siya yung humawak ng mga last news during the time ni John Paul II. Siya yung naandun during the time of Benedict XVI. At siya yung naandito ngayon telling us ano bang plano nitong bagong santo papang ito tungkol sa simbahan. When he was asked, how would you describe the present papacy? Ano ang description at karakter nitong bagong santo papa? Sabi niya, if I was asked that question, ito sasagot ko sa inyo. I will quote Francis. At ang sabi niya, In my opinion, sabi ng Santo Papa natin ngayon, the strongest message of the Lord is mercy. Mercy. Bakit? Hindi siya kaagad nagkukundi na. Kilala niya tayo bilang mga makasalanan. At sa kabila nito, patuloy niya tayong minamahal. Sapagat yun ang personal na belief ng Santo Papa. Ah, lalahanin niyo yung kanyang moto. Misirando at kwe eligendo. Inilagay niya yan sa kanyang emblem, sa kanyang coat of arms. At anong ibig sabi noon? Tinignan niya ako na may habag at awa. Nakita niyang aking kahinaan. Alam niyang aking kapalpakan. Alam niya ako'y isang makasalanan. Sa kabila nito, ay ko'y kanya pa ring pinili. That is your God. The God of mercy. The God who looks at us sees what we are and still accepts and loves us. Kaya paalalialan niya rin sa aming mga kaparian ang sabi niya. Remember, mga kaparian, pastors must know how to be ahead of the herd. Kung ikay mayroong tupa o kayay may flock, you have to be ahead of the herd to point to them the way in the midst of the flock. To keep them united behind the flock to prevent someone from being left behind. Dugtong niya. So that the same flock, so to speak, has a sense, the same sense of smell to find its way. Alam mo, instruct yun sa aming mga pare. Huwag kayong mag-feeling-feeling superior. Hindi ganon si Kristo. Huwag kayong feeling-feeling banal sapagkat kayo para sa mga makasalanan. In fact, tugtong niya, the shepherd must smell like the sheep. Alam niyo bang amoy ng inyong mga tupa? Nauunawaan niyo ba sila? Kayo ba'y handa na sila'y muling tanggapin? Sapagat ang Diyos na sa iyo'y tumanggap, ang siyang dapat mong pinakikilala. The woman rushed to all of his friends, of her friends. Hali kayo! He knows me and still He has accepted me. Bukas, si Father Mario kasama ng apat kong na-ordain will be celebrating our 30th year in the priesthood. Palakpak naman dyan. Kaya next Sunday, yung ating Misa will be a Mass of Thanksgiving. Pasasalamat sa Panginoon. Pero alam nyo, every time you say, 30 years, wow, grabe. But we realize in the end, it is not us who are supposed to celebrate. We have to celebrate the faithfulness of God na sa kabila ng kami, kami, patuloy parang kaming minahal. Paulit-ulit ko ng sinasabi, pag si Monsignor Soc Villegas ang iyong tinanong, bakit kaming lima? Bakit hindi yung ibang kasama naming 42 nang kami pumasok? Nanda ng sagot, di ba? Sapagat nang kayo'y kanyang tinignan, siya'y nagbulag-bulagan. At sinabi niyang pwede ng pagtyagaan. You know? My dear friends, I will be celebrating 30 years, but before you, I will have to declare 30 years of God's faithfulness, 30 years of God's infinite mercy, 
30 years of incredible love. Pray with me. Pray for us, please. Baka naman kahit paano'y magbago pa kami. But today, let's just rejoice in this, that we have a God who truly loves us. Remember the words and the book of John Powell? God, would you still love me if you know me? The answer of Jesus is, definitely, yes. Let's rejoice in that. Amen. Tayo magsitayo. I believe in one God. The Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten not made, consubstantial with the Father, through Him all things were made. For us men and for our salvation, He came down from heaven, and by the Holy Spirit was incarnate of the Virgin Mary and became man. For our sake, He was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried, and rose again on the third day in accordance with the Scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and His kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy, Catholic, and apostolic church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins, and I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. Through Jesus who invites us to approach the Father in spirit and truth, let us now address our prayers to God the Father, confident of His love and of His graciousness. As we pray, Lord of life, hear our prayer. Lord of life, hear our prayer. Chip, inspired by the Holy Spirit, may be humble and joyful and lead to acts of loving service. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord of, of life, life, hear our prayer. prayer. That people who are thirsty, restless, and searching for meaning may find in Jesus true and lasting peace. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord of life, hear our prayer. That the leaders of the church may consider doing the will of the Father as their food and long to announce the gospel to the people. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord of life, hear our prayer. That we may not rest content with what the thing of this world can offer, but set our hearts on spiritual values and give us lasting joy. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord of life, hear our prayer. We thank the Lord for Father Mar Mar Sobre Juanita's 30th sacerdotal anniversary. Grant that Father Mar be strengthened and healed by the power of the Holy Spirit that he celebrates. May the word he proclaims give him courage and wisdom throughout his vocation. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord of life, hear our prayer. That the faithful departed may enjoy the peace of God's kingdom. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord of life, hear our prayer. For the repose of the soul of Pam Capili Concepcion, for the birthday intentions of Pai Fernandez, and for the intentions of Ninang Nati Santos and of her family, for peace, comfort, and consolation for all of them. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord of life, hear our prayer. Father, hear our prayers and the prayers of your people. Send your spirit to awaken in our hearts adoration, prayer, and thanksgiving to Christ our Lord. Amen. Please remain standing as the gifts are presented to the altar.
Pray me, dear friends, that your sacrifice in mine be made acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His holy church. Be pleased, O Lord, with these sacrificial offerings, and grant that we who beseech pardon for our sins may take care to forgive our neighbor through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation. Always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, to Jesus our Lord. For when he asked the Samaritan woman for water to drink, he had already created the gift of faith within her. And so ardently did he thirst for her faith, that he kindled in her the fire of divine love. And so we too give you thanks, and with angels and saints praise your mighty deeds as we acclaim. Indeed, holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of Jesus Christ, our Lord. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar manner, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The Mystery of Faith Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the blood and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity. Together with Francis, our Pope, Cardinal Tagli, our Bishop, and all the clergy, remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face 
Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Sa pamamagita ni Kristo, kasama niya sa Kanya, ang lahat ng parangal at papuri ay sa iyo, Diyos amang makapangyarihan kasama ng Espiritu Santo. Magpasawa lang hanggang Today, let's ask the Father to make us truly feel the love that He has for us, the love that is forgiving, the love that challenges us also to be forgiving. We pray the Our Father. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil, graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may always be free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus the Christ. Jesus Christ who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and grace is grant of peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Bless one another with the gift of Christ. Peace. Peace be with you. Peace be with you all.
called him the forgiving God, the God who calls you, that so you may enjoy his love and mercy. Happy are we who come to receive him. Lord, I'm not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. But in blood of our Lord Jesus Christ, bring eternal life to us to receive him. For those of you who are unable to receive Holy Communion, especially our brothers and sisters who are joining us in this TV Mass, we invite you to pray with us this prayer for spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things. And I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot, at this moment, receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. pong kardinal ay nagre-request na sapagkat matindi pa rin po ang pangangailangan ng mga nasalanta 
ng Bagyong Yolanda at iba pang kalamidad that we will now do a second collection. Yan po ay kanyang paanyaya that we practice the gift of reaching out to our brothers and sisters in need. The second collection is gagamitin po ng diocese para po sa ating mga outreaches. Gusto ko rin pong i-announce habang ating ginagawa ito that those who would like to have a good encounter with this God who will look at us and see and know us and still love us ay magkakaroon po ng isang Jesus Encounter Seminar. Gagawin po yan sa April 5, 2014, Sabado, from 8 to 6 o'clock in the evening. Doon po sa St. Paul Auditorium, sa St. Paul Compound, St. Paul Seminary, San Antonio Village, Makati. May mga namimigay po ng leaflet dyan sa labas. It will be a day of talks. Napakagaling po ng mga speaker na andyan si Brother uh, Bot, uh, sino pa ba? Si Father Domi, Uh, si Father, si Brother Arun Gugna ng uh, uh, Kerigma at uh, si Father Mario po, ako po yun. You know? So sa mga nais pong ma-experience kung gaano magmahal at magpatawad ang Diyos, a one-day seminar will be a great experience po para sa ating lahat. Kuha lang po kayo ng leaflet. Ikalawa, kaya po si Father ay naandito eh, sapagat kailangan, kailangan po namin ng tulong para sa aming seminaryo. May mga seminarista po kaming naandyan. Alam nyo naman, sinasabi ko sa inyo, sa mga ganyang gulang, hindi po sila kumakain, lumalamon. Kaya yung isang sakong bigas, isang araw lang po yan para sa kanila. Eh, kaya lahat ng racket, pinasok na namin para kumita. <laughs> Mayroon po silang t-shirt na ipinagbibili. Ang ganda. Ito yung ating bagong Santo Papa. No? Uh, it's a beautiful uh, image of the, the, the Francis that tells you, your God is a merciful God. At huwag niyong ipapa, ikakahiya na kayo'y katoliko. Kasi yan ang kinahihiya ng marami ngayon. Eh. Be proud to be a Catholic. So, copies are available for you. Uh, rather copies. Uh, these items are available for you. Mayroon din po tayo para sa ating Santo Papang magiging santo, si John Paul II naman po. At proud again to be a Catholic. Sila po yung ating mga heroes ngayon. Nandyan po yung ating mga seminaristang mag-aantay sa labas para sa inyo. Tanong ng marami, magkader, magkano? Magbigay na lang kayo, 200 lang, para tulong na lang sa seminaryo. So sa pagbigay nyo, huwag nyo nang isipin, ordinaryong t-shirt, isipin nyo, eto, magpapaaral ako ng isang seminarista. Tulong to para sa ating simbahan. At may kasamang dasal na sana balang araw, he will be a minister of mercy, katulad ng Diyos na kanyang pinagsisilbihan. Nandun lang po sila sa kabila, mag-aantay po sa inyo. Tayo po'y manalangin. Father of mercy, as we receive the pledge of things yet hidden in heaven and are nourished while still on earth, with the bread that comes from on high, we humbly entreat you, that what is being brought about in us in mystery may one day come true in completion through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Father Tim and I will now give you our blessing. And may Almighty God bless you all, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. So next Sunday po, yung ating Thanksgiving Mass para sa aking 30th anniversary. May prayer meeting din po tayo this coming Wednesday. Si Father Alex Balatbat will give a talk on Christian secret for a happy life. Yan po at 7 o'clock to 9 o'clock in the evening. We sing, Go in the peace of the Lord. Thanks be to God. This is a beautiful song. Pasasalamat sa Diyos ng kapatawaran. Nang awa, nang habag. All that you've done.